So I've been reading this book for the past probably like two months now. And if you're in my class and you read this book with me, you're like, why is this guy making a video like two weeks after we're done with it? And to that I say, I'm just a procrastinator, leave me alone, okay? But this book was one of the only books I read, no offense, dur during this school year that actually made a little bit of an impact on me and I actually enjoyed reading. So let's talk about it. So first, I'm going to give a brief overview about what this book is about, in case you don't know. So it's a non-fiction book that follows the story of Brian Stevenson, who is a black attorney, then lawyer, who is working in Alabama on death row, and he is, and so basically he works with death row prisoners who, you know, he believes are innocent, and he tries to help them get off of death row. And this whole book, overall, the whole one line that he says right here is that you are better than the worst thing that you've ever done. So now we'll talk about my thoughts before the book. Pretty much everyone in America knows about, you know, black history, what people have been through, slavery, and then, you know, uh, segregation, all that kind of stuff. And after that, you know, there's all these movements, and, you know, my in my mind, it's like, well, all these movements have, you know, been done, and, you know, there's all sorts of initiatives right now, like Black Lives Matter. It's like, racism still exists, but it's just not super prominent anymore, you know? That was kind of my mindset. I didn't experience a lot of that. Moving from right there to right here, because I feel like it. So, while reading this book, it was, there was a lot of shocking things in this book. A lot of stuff I'm not going to go over because it's probably not appropriate or allowed on YouTube, but there's a lot of things in this book which I thought whoa, wait, that really happens? Like, is that, that stuff actually exists right now in the US? And not even just that, just the prominence of all this stuff, how often it happens. One example is prisons. Back when this book was written, about 2010-ish, that, that era, there was one prison made every 10 days in the United States. 10 days, every, every 10 days there was a new prison. And they had been growing at that rate for like 30 years. And so that was just really shocking, like realizing how many prisons were being built and how and how fast incarceration rates are going up. Like that was mind blowing to me. And there's so many specific stories in this book, which I'm not going to go over, that really just help facilitate that idea that like there is still racism in America and there still is and there still is a lot of corruption in the justice system. You know, honestly, I don't really know why I'm here, but it's, 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 it's a nice spot, all right? Well, there's little spiky plants all around here. They're gonna hurt my feet. So after reading this book, it really, it really changed my view on how I kind of look at the justice system and how things are, you know, actually happening, you know? It kind of woke me up to the realities of what happens when, you know, the public isn't around you know, what's behind all the media. And this book, it's a little bit outdated. It was from 2013, we're in 2024 now. So, like, stuff has changed, but but also it, it, it didn't go away. It still exists here, and it's still, it's probably still almost as prominent even compared to like 10, 20 years ago. I guess before I kind of had this mindset of like, oh, you know, everything is your responsibility. You gotta deal with this stuff on your own and you know, you can't really control the government and the law, so it's just up to you to choose whether you want to break the law or not. But from this book and seeing seeing the way that people abuse their power as police officers and things like that, it's like, okay, it's not always in your power if you get arrested or if you get, you know, unfair treatment and all, all that kind of stuff. It's people abusing their own power. Dude, these things are so scary. So these right here, 
They have, they're like leaves. They think, you think they're normal, but they have little spiky things on them. And, and I would always step on them as a child, and it really hurt. Do not recommend. I just recorded that whole uh, outro, and I realized I didn't press record. So anyways, all that to say, this was a really good book to read. I'm not much of a reader. I don't really read much at all, but I still really enjoyed this book. And I think if you read it, you, you would like it too. And it might also help you open up to new perspectives and all that kind of stuff. So definitely recommend, check it out. Bought this on Amazon for like $8. I'll put a link in the description. But, but yeah, that's it for today. Um, I know my channel is kind of all over the place. I'm just experimenting right now. So bear with me. I'll get it figured out eventually. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Peace out.